happy people welcome back to my channel and today i'm bringing you all a dollar tree haul it has been quite some time since i have shopped at dollar tree and i was happy to get out and about and see what type of new items they have and so let me show you all the items that i picked up here is my bag of goodies and i'm super excited um so i'm gonna just hop right in and start picking out items um i got a variety of different things so the first thing i got was some more uh scrubbing pads um we keep these downstairs in the kitchen and it's really um something nice and gentle to use to scrub our pots and pans um especially so that it doesn't uh scrape off is it like the teflon i forget what it's called but that non-stick material that they have in most pots and pans um i like using this because it's kind of like a gentle scrubber so you can scrub as hard as you want and it won't actually um scrape off that metal stuff so um well it won't scrape off that non-stick material so yeah i like these a lot and highly recommend them the next item that i got here is let's see i guess i'll kind of keep it to kind of kitchen items almost even though i didn't buy this for the kitchen um so this is just two cooking bowls that i got from dollar tree i particularly got these for uh doing my manicures um actually let me show you all my nails so i just did these nails not too long ago and i did film a tutorial on how to do these nails so if you guys want to see that i will link it uh, below and or in the cards but I needed some bowls to kind of soak off this is actually a dip powder I actually did the dip powder method using gel polish so yeah it's super easy love it and anywho um so I needed something to soak it off and I saw these plastic bowls and they're like the thick bowls um I got it in particular to put like the hot water in and then I take a glass bowl and I put acetone in it and that's what I use kind of soak my uh, uh, dip powder application and gel polishes off with. And I think it's like the perfect size too. So happy to have these. Um, I might try and do two hands at once. We'll see. But yeah, so I got that. Um, and then I also got a can opener. Um, I was in need of one. The other day I was using my can opener to open a can of tuna and I don't know, like the handle just snapped right off. It was one I got from Walmart for like 97 cents. And so I figured I'd give this one a try. It looks like it's a little bit more sturdier and it has a plastic handle. So we'll see how long this one lasts. But the one I had was like the old school, old school um, can opener. It's like even the one that had like the bottle opener at the end. So hopefully this lasts a lot longer. I think the other one only lasted me like eight or nine months. So we'll see. But yeah, I got a can opener. I picked up some permanent markers. Um, I really like these slimmer permanent markers because they tend to have like a fine tip to them. And so I got these mainly to um, write down labels and things like that. Um, Cause I'm gonna show you all the project that I got too that I'll be working on. But yeah, um, I got these to kind of label some things. I found these. I've actually not used these before, but I thought they were really cool. So they're snap elastics, twist on and snap off. Look at this. So apparently, um, you uh, there's like these beads here in the middle. It looks like this one already snapped open. So yeah, there's these beads here in the middle and. Where's the other end okay this one's open okay so let me show you guys so it's an elastic like this and then you just snap it here in the middle right oh this one's broke sad face well that lets me know this these probably won't be of good quality but yeah you're supposed to snap it here in the middle and then it's supposed to stop you from kind of snagging your hair whenever you're using like regular elastic bands so I thought these were going to be good, but the fact that this one's broken, I haven't even opened them and used them yet, makes me feel like it's not too promising. So they're there. Uh, we'll see how they hold up. The next item I picked up is um, not that I need any more makeup like at all, but you really can't be beat makeup for a dollar. So this is a foundation from Revlon and it's the Flesh Foundation. Um, I actually haven't heard too much about it, but... Um, I travel a lot with a little one and so sometimes it's nice to just be able to kind of throw your makeup on with a foundation stick and so I don't know that this is my shade though this is in latte and so I'm hoping that um, even if it's not my shade I can use it for like an under eye concealer and just kind of look you know kind of brighten it up and make me look awake you know because the struggle is real okay so yeah I'm excited to have found this for one dollar again it's Revlon's flesh foundation 
Um, let's see. And also in the beauty aisle, I found some perfume. So I don't know if you all are hip to Dollar Tree perfumes or not, but I feel like they are really good dupes. Not even dupes, but impressions of uh, like higher end, like look luxury fragrances. Like I feel like you get a pretty good idea of what the actual fragrance is going to smell like when you buy the the ones from Dollar Tree. And so I have this one. It is the uh, their version of Poison by Christian Dior. This is actually a scent that I've been wanting to try out for quite some time. And when I smelled it in the store, I was like, oh, okay, I like this. So I kind of want to go through and see. Yeah, it's nice. Okay. Yeah, that's a, it's a very kind of like boss lady scent. So I kind of want to go through this and see how I like it. And if I feel like I really enjoy it, then I am going to go ahead and pick up the full, ver like the actual, like the real version of it. Um, and I actually, I tried this with, um, I think it was called Extremely Happy from Dollar Tree. And it was the version, their version of Calvin Klein Euphoria. And I loved it. And that's what made me purchase the actual one. And it smelled just like it. Um, I do have two more fragrances I want to mention too. So these aren't actually from this shopping trip. I actually was doing some spring clean. I actually was doing some cleaning and um, going through a lot of my old products and things like that. And I realized I had these two boxes too. So this one is One Million by Paco Rabanne. And it's called Prime Gold. And it's so funny because I actually just purchased this for my husband for his birthday. And I just completely forgot that I had this. And it actually does smell just like One Million. So obviously like the lasting power with these type of perfumes aren't that great. I would say you probably get an hour or two, but like I said, to get an idea of what the actual fragrance smells like, that's such a good bargain. One dollar just to see how it smells. I mean, it's a great tester, I feel like. Um, so that's that one. And then the last one here is Blossom Blast. Again, completely forgot that I had this. I've actually since purchased the real version of um, Flower Bomb. This is the impression, I'm sorry of flower bomb by victor and ralph and yeah absolutely love it and it does smell just like the real deal leave me a comment down below and let me know if you all want to see me doing some videos where i compare the dollar version to the actual uh perfume because like i said these two i actually do have the real versions of and they do smell just like the original so for me it tells me that if i ever want to know how something smells like i can go to dollar tree and just get an idea of what that scent is like so yeah Perfumes from Dollar Tree, if you all are hip to them, check them out, give them a try. Like I said, you're not going to get good lasting power, but particularly what I use them for is just a fragrance to go to sleep in, right? Like, I like to spray perfume on my body before I go to sleep, and I feel like those are great. They were only a dollar, so I don't feel like I'm, you know, wasting too much. And they last a decent amount of time, too. So, yeah, that's that. The next item I picked up, I wandered on over... Oh, wait, I got a few more beauty items here. So, I did find these cute little um what are they called it's a it's called silky bun so essentially it's like something that has an elastic and then you wrap this part around the bun the bun your bun kind of like this lady here in the picture and so i got a red one and i got a yellow one so i thought these are really cute just something simple to just kind of like spice up whatever look i have going on um let's see the next item i picked up um, like I said, got a little one, so I found these little corner guards. Um, my little one, she is starting to crawl and walk and be very active, and so I just want to make sure she's safe and doesn't hit her head on anything. And so I got these just to kind of cover the edges of our furniture. Like I said earlier, I've been doing my nails a lot, you know. I'm just not getting into doing different designs and such. Typically, I would just do like a solid color and then just let it be that. But I'm really starting to learn how to do my do this, do my own designs. And I really wanted some glitters, but I didn't want to pay for glitters. Like I wanted a lot of glitters for a small amount of money. And I found these craft glitters at Dollar Tree. And I am pretty excited about these so that I could try them out. So this one pack here has like different type of greens and blues and the silver. And then I got another pack here that has like the iridescent whites. I don't know if it's picking it up here. But you see it has like the iridescent whites, a beautiful silver, a rose gold, shimmery black. So yeah, I'm super excited to just like try these powders out and well these glitters out when i do my nails and see how they last um and see how they work i've been watching a few tutorials and i'm really excited to just kind of try it out so yeah got some glitters 
And then just so that I don't make a mess of these glitters everywhere, I got some storage containers for them. You guys, you really can't beat this price for one dollar. I mean, it's 10 of them that come in one pack. They're circular, and I like the fact that they're clear and they have the flat lid. So what I'll do is I'll like label all of my glitters and things like that. And then I also think these are useful for if you all do have little ones to store baby food in, like, you know, small serving sizes and things like that. So, yeah, multi-use product. Um, I've also used this for storing, like, grounded up flax seeds in my fridge and different things like that. So, yeah, multi-use item. But for this time around, I got it for storing my glitters. And I picked up not one of those, but actually two of them. And then also there, I was really impressed that they had a dotting tool. So yeah, so I would like to be playing around with different like polka dots and things on my nails. So I got that particularly for some of my nail designs. And the last thing I picked up from this haul, you guys, I feel like I've been looking for this item for a while and I just haven't found it. And I just so happen to stumble into a Dollar Tree and find this one. It is a step shelf. And so I got this so that I can organize my spice cabinet, you guys. Now, I, who else's spice cabinet looks a mess? Because I know mine's do. So I got a but Actually, how many of these? I got six of these. And I was so excited, I couldn't even wait for the video. There's two here. I couldn't even wait for the video. So I went ahead and organized my spice cabinet. It looks amazing. And then I'll also use this to organize um, my dresser drawer. So everybody has a junk drawer, okay? <laughs> and so my junk drawer was kind of getting out of hand. I couldn't really reach items the way I wanted to. This is amazing. Put this inside one of your drawers and like on one shelf I have like you know my glasses the second shelf I have like um like my um I have like a power bank so I put my power bank on there the third shelf I keep like my vitamins and things that I take before the end of the night um I have my contacts on one shelf like I just love this because it just helps keep things organized and then because it has this space in the back here right I can also like store things underneath it just imagine this part is flat so I can store things behind it too. So I actually really like these things. So I have a few extra ones. I'm actually probably going to go organize my hubby's drawer so that um, he can get a little more organized too. So yeah, you guys, that is it for this haul. Um, I do have an honorable mention. This is not something I got from Dollar Tree. I actually got this from Walmart. So when I was looking at glitters, um, Walmart actually had the exact same glitters that Dollar Tree had, but they were like, they had $4 for the little package that I got. And then they had like some that were in like these little containers that were like $7. I was just being cheap. I didn't want to pay that much for them, but I did find this right here and I'm super excited about these. So this has like different stars, hearts, hollow hearts, hollow stars etc in there um i'm trying to see any other things so it's mainly just hearts and stars but different variations of them and i got this so that again i can do some more nail art you guys like i'm excited i want to really do some clear encapsulating with my nails and i feel like these would be so beautiful to do that with and so they were only two dollars actually it was a dollar 97 cents but it was only two bucks and i was super excited to find this so yeah i hope you all enjoyed this haul um i'll be happy to bring to be bringing you all more dollar tree hauls now that things are kind of opening back up and things like that um i will be out and about doing a little bit of shopping hopefully not too much shopping though but yeah i got some items here that i was just excited to share with you all let me know what your favorite item was that i hauled from this particular shopping trip i do upload every tuesday thursday and saturday and yeah if you all like what you saw here definitely stick around and join the happy family as always you all leave some love in the comments down below and i will see you in my next video i hope you have a wonderful awesome spectacular day Bye.